Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues, I'd like to thank for this great opportunity. The risk assessment for uh, aortic valve replacement in uh, aortic stenosis patients may be challenging. The overall mortality for elective isolated first time aortic valve replacement in the United Kingdom is 2.4%. Uh, but this risk can be much higher in high risk patients. Uh, to predict the patient's mortality for this operation, risk scoring tools have been developed from clinical database compiled predominantly of patients with no coronary artery disease. We strongly believe that there is an additional factor which can significantly improve the risk assessment process. This factor can be described as myocardial fibrosis that can be detected through cardiovascular magnetic resonance by a late gadolinium enhancement technique. The presence of late cardiac enhancement is associated with uh, adverse prognosis in a vast range of cardiac condition, and this uh, has never been assessed in patients with aortic stenosis undergoing aortic valve replacement. This is a picture from an MRI where we can clearly see in white myocardial fibrosis. Here, just if I can have a pointer. Therefore, we enrolled 143 consecutive patients with aortic stenosis. They all underwent a uh, cardiac MRI stun study. 57 patients with moderate aortic stenosis, 86 with severe. The average aortic valve area was 0.99 centimeters square. 72 patients underwent uh, to an aortic valve replacement, 63 of those operating in our unit in Royal Brompton Hospital. On the CMR, we observe three different patterns of late gadolinium enhancement. Therefore, we divide the patients in three groups. Group A, 49 patients, where there was no late gadolinium enhancement at all. Therefore, we can see the myocardium completely back. Group B, 54 patients, where there was a clear pattern or mid-wall fibrosis. You can see in the middle of the left ventricle wall, the fibrosis. And there is a group C, uh, in fact, pattern, 40 patients where the fibrosis was overall subendocardium. Therefore, we did, uh, this is at the baseline characteristic of uh, the patients, and the three groups we found to be quite homogeneous, except for age, male gender. Obviously, the infarct group had more coronary artery disease. And in this group, the ejection fraction was lower, respect to both the other group and the index LV diastolic volume was higher compared to the other group. In the mild wall fibrosis, we find out that the, actually the index LV mass was higher, significantly higher. Therefore, we had two clinical endpoints. The first one was the all cause of mortality for operated and not operated patients. And the second endpoint was 30D perioperative maze event and other important perioperative complication. When we look at how our result for the univariate analysis emerged that the uh, uh, ejection fraction and the uh, index LV endodiastolic volume, as uh, in many other papers has been described, were found to be significant as a predictor of cause of mortality. However, we find out that uh, also in the mild wall LGA uh, was a highly significant predictor of all cause of mortality with an hazard ratio of 8.59. An increasing of percentage of uh, LGA mass in the left ventricle, the prognosis worsened. Therefore, we went uh, to analyze this result on our multivariate an analysis, and um, LGA emerges as an independent predictor of all cause of mortality. When we analyzed the, uh, the aortic valve court of patients, 72 patients, underwent to an aortic valve replacement, we, we find out that, uh, again, in the mild wall group, the mortality was four times higher compared to the no LGA group. But if we leave these patients without an operation, the mortality come up almost to 22%. When we compare the result of uh, perioperative complication between these this, this three groups in uh, 63 patients operating in our center, we find out that the incidence of MACE, cerebrovascular accident, heart block were significantly high in the mild wall group compared to the other partner, partner of late gadolinium enhancement group. In conclusion, 
The mild wall fibrosis is an independent predictor of mortality and morbidity in patients with moderate and severe aortic stenosis and definitely adds value to a prognostic model based on the ejection fraction. Adverse prognosis associated with mild wall fibrosis persists in patients undergoing an abortive valve replacement, but is four times less than unoperated patients. Mortality in this group is four times higher compared with the no LGA group. Mild wall LGA was associated with an increased rate of mace, cerebrovascular accident, and heart block 30 days following the surgery. Patients with no LGA experience no MACE event at 30 days. Last point is a question. Is the mild wall fibrosis in asymptomatic patients with aortic stenosis a marker for more rapidly progress to symptom and adverse events? Our study seems to confirm this hypothesis, but much more patients have to be enrolled. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity.